While the Toyota 4Runner is a great looking SUV from the factory, if you want to make it truly yours, customization is the way to go. One popular way to achieve this is to black out your ride. So here is the ultimate guide to doing just that, blacking out your Toyota 4Runner. First off, what is blacking out something? This is taking part or parts of your SUV that are painted or chrome and making them black, matte, gloss, or semi black. For links to everything I'm about to mention and so much more, click the link in the description to head on over to empireoffroad.com. There are three main ways to black out your 4Runner or any vehicle. You can replace parts entirely, place covers or overlays over parts that you want blacked out, or use sprays, dips, or paints. Which you choose depends on your budget and the part you want blacked out. Now that you know the methods, let's get to it. One of the best ways to black out any vehicle is window tint. It's cheap and easy to do. There are so many local shops that'll take care of this for you, but if you have the time and some skill, you can do it yourself. Not only does it look good, but it keeps your interior temperature cooler and keeps those wandering eyes from seeing who's driving the best looking SUV in town. Just make sure to check your local laws so you don't go too dark. When it comes to headlights and taillights, blacking them out is generally referred to as smoke, and with interchangeable parts, this is easy to do. You can easily swap out the entire units with ones that have smoked lenses or blacked out housings. Doing so can run you a few hundred to over a thousand dollars, but it will be your cleanest and longest lasting option. You can also use a vinyl film to tint your lenses. These can be pre-cut or you can cut the film yourself. This is a much more affordable option, but the film can degrade or shrink over time. The easiest option would be a smoked spray-on option. This is easy and fast, but can lead to poor results if you don't prep well. And this is not your longest lasting option. Just make sure you don't go too dark. Emblems stick out to show people what you drive, but if you don't like that look, you could either get replacement emblems that are black, but the most popular route would be overlays or paint or plasti dip. All are great options for something like emblems. This is where things can get a little pricey, however, it is one of the first things people see when looking at your SUV, so let's talk about some options. Some of the less expensive options would be dipping or wrapping. When you dip your wheels, you're referring to spraying them with something such as Plasti Dip. Matte Black Plasti Dip is a very popular option on wheels, and there are lots of pictures and videos online of people doing it. You'll need more than one can, but you'll also want to have some backups for when they chip and peel over time. It's easy to reapply. Wrapping refers to covering the wheels in vinyl. While usually better looking than dipping, it's not as easy to repair if you get curb rash or other dings. You can also get overlays for some models. They are basically form-fitting hubcaps that will snap over your existing wheel, turning them into black wheels. Whatever you do, avoid spray paint at all costs. You will hate your wheels. While it is your most expensive option, it will be your longest lasting and best looking option, new wheels. This can get very expensive, but if you have the cash, they are fantastic options. Used wheels are a great option and can be far cheaper, but make sure you inspect them first. There can be a lot of chrome or painted parts up front on some 4Runner models and trim levels. Since the 4Runner is not as popular as the Tacoma or Tundra, something like Plasti Dip might be your best option. You could try to swap Nightshade Edition parts over, but I can't confirm fitment. When it comes to the inside, the bright and flashy AC control knobs might be a bit too much. AJT Design has you covered. Just pop on these covers and you're set. They also offer a kit for radio knobs as well. To keep the shape of the logo, Plasti Dip or Paint can lead to good results. If you want something fast and easy, AJT offers an emblem cover. While it's not the Toyota T and does sport the AJT logo or be blank, it's hard to beat for 18 bucks. Since it's one of the first and last things you touch, you might want to change up your start button. This kit from AJT Design will change the start-stop button to a unique blacked out version. If you want to go all out and cover everything, wrapping all non-black trim in black vinyl is a very cost-effective solution. You can grab a large sheet and do it yourself, or certain companies offer pre-kit cuts for your 4Runner. If you want to get everything black from the factory, you do have that option if you order a nightshade edition. The wheels are black, trim is black, emblems are black, and you get a black exhaust tip. The interior gets the dark treatment as well. While you will still find some brighter knobs and trims in the interior, it still fits the build. While they don't seem to be available from the factory right now, they are out there and are probably coming back. The blacked out look is popular and looks good. The best part is that there are so many different cost options to get the look you want. Just make sure you follow all of your local and federal laws and have at it. If you want to see more videos like this about Toyota 4Runners, Tacomas, and Tundras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. For links of all of these products and so much more information, click the link in the description to head on over to EmpireOffRoad.com. Thanks for watching.